When the First Continental Congress ended on October 26, 1774, delegates hoped that they wouldn't need to meet again, at least anytime soon. Alas, on April 19, 1775, the battles of Lexington and Concord forced their hand. The British weren't listening to the demands of the American colonists, and the Second Continental Congress convened on May 10, 1775. The delegates met at the State House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which later became known as Independence Hall. Delegates of all 13 colonies were represented and included legendary historical figures like John Hancock, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. One of the first major actions taken by the Second Continental Congress was to create the Continental Army on June 14, 1775. They appointed a man named George Washington to lead the new army. Washington had gained fame for his military success during the French and Indian War, and had later served as a representative in the Virginia House of Burgesses. In the following month of July, two famous documents were approved, the Olive Branch Petition and the Declaration of Causes. On July 5, 1775, delegates adopted the Olive Branch Petition to be sent to King George III of England. Drafted by Thomas Jefferson and John Dickinson, the petition explained that the colonists wanted peace with Great Britain and once again asked the king to protect their rights as British citizens. The delegates asked that the laws and taxes placed on the colonies by the British Parliament be repealed. The Declaration on the Causes and Necessity of Taking Up Arms was approved on July 6, 1775. The document outlined the reasons why the delegates felt it was necessary to take military action against the British government. The King's response? He issued the Proclamation of Rebellion on August 23, 1775. He declared that American colonists were engaging in open and avowed rebellion by arraying themselves in a hostile manner, and were traitorously preparing and ordering and levying war against us. He then ordered the British Army to exert their utmost endeavors to suppress such rebellion and to bring the traitors to justice. So in other words, he did not take the news well. Battles between the American and British armies continued to wage in the following months. As the days wore on, there were increasing calls for complete independence from Great Britain. These feelings were flamed by Thomas Paine's pamphlet, Common Sense, which was published in January of 1776. With the public outcry growing, a committee was created to draft a document to formally separate from Great Britain. On July 4, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was approved by delegates of the Second Continental Congress. As the war progressed, the Second Continental Congress worked to secure an alliance with France, which changed the course of the war, and later created the Articles of Confederation, the first written constitution of the United States, which was ratified in 1781. The efforts of the delegates of the Second Continental Congress deeply affected the course of American history. Their leadership through a time of crisis provided the stability the country needed to establish independence and create a democratic government for the American people. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the like button to show some love. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep pursuing history.